Hey everyone, it's Kristen from Wild Birds Unlimited, a very new market. And I wanted to show you a couple of tricks to take your eliminator from squirrel proof to also helping you keep the blackbirds out of it. And there's actually three tricks you can use with this feeder to help keep the blackbirds at bay. It's not 100% grackle proof, it's not 100% surround proof, it won't stop them all the way, but with these tricks you can really discourage those bully birds or larger blackbirds from taking over your feeders and keeping the smaller birds away. So here I have my eliminator. You can see it's pretty well loved. I love this feeder. It's my absolute favorite bird feeder. I've actually been using the Eliminator for over 10 years now, and I just love it. It's also our best-selling feeder in store. So I know I'm not the only one. There's a lot of folks who really, really love this feeder. And part of the reason I love it so much is because it holds so much food. So aside from the practicalities that it is a squirrel-proof bird feeder, it does a great job at keeping a red, gray, and black squirrels out. It also holds a ton of seeds. You don't have to fill it very often. It looks really nice and kind of chic in your garden. And the birds really love feeding from it. So in my, in my opinion, it is a win-win-win. And it also does a really good job at keeping out the blackbirds. So let's talk about how to do that. First of all, you'll notice that my eliminator is empty and there's a good reason for that. These adjustments are best done when your seed is out of the feeder. Um, that way you're not spilling it all over the ground. So that, that's tip one, make sure your bird feeder is empty before you do this. And then the first adjustment we're gonna make is to the tension. So in order to adjust the tension of the feeder, that's actually done inside the tube here. We're gonna take off the lid, which to release it, you just push it down, twist to the side, and it comes off kind of like a pill bottle. And I'm gonna take the lid right off so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm gonna unhook it, there we go. And now we can see there, the inner column here, this inner tube, is actually where you make the adjustments. So hopefully you can see if I tilt it down here, there's actually three yellow lines marking the inside of that tube. So one, two, three. Now this feeder is factory set to four ounces of weight. Now that does a really good job at keeping out the larger eastern gray squirrels, which are the gray and black ones, and it does a good job for most red squirrels. But if you have lighter red squirrels or baby squirrels, you may need to make an adjustment on the tension. Same with the larger birds. So if we want to allow for heavier birds to use the feeder, we actually wanna move that red dial that's right in the center at the center line there down. And we do that by turning it clockwise. But if we want to kind of reduce the tension and exclude some of the heavier birds or some of the lighter squirrels, we would do that by moving the red dial up. And for that, we're gonna turn it counterclockwise. So what I'm gonna start by doing is really, I think the sweet spot for most people in keeping the blackbirds out is between the middle and the top line. So I'm just gonna turn this counterclockwise until the dial, that red dial in here, goes up kind of in between the two. There we go. If I tilt it backwards, there. You should be able to see that it's now in between the middle and the top line. Now you don't really want to go above that top line. Actually, you don't want to go above that top line because if you do that, it's pretty much going to block out anything that tries to land on the feeder. And there is a sweet spot and it's going to depend on how long you've had your feeder out. So the spring sometimes gives over time. The tension sort of wears as it gets used. And so you might need to play around with the sensitivity settings on your feeder to find the sweet spot at which it's going to keep out the black birds. But for most folks that is somewhere in between the top two lines there. Okay, so that's your first line of defense. So try that, put your feeder out and see what happens. What sometimes will happen is the grackles will figure that they can jump. And when they jump and they bounce on it, they're able to get to the food. They are very smart birds, and so they will learn some tricks of their own. So they might learn to do that, or I've actually seen them on my feeder once the port's closed, they stick their beak in the port and push it back up again. So that's another trick I've seen them use. So if that happens at your feeders and they learn how to get around the tension trick, we're gonna move on to step two and three. And that is to shorten the perches and remove the ring altogether. 
okay so those are the other tricks that you can try so the way that we do that is by loosening the wing nut at the bottom when you loosen that wing nut when you open it up it actually allows you to move the perches really freely so we spin the perches all the way in you can see the ring just disengaged from the feeder there we go and i'm going to take my ring off so as you can see so there's two steps to this you want to remove the ring but also you want to move and twist those perches in so they are as small as they can be against the feeder then you're going to tighten that wing nut again and it's going to lock those perches in place there we go so now we have a situation where not only is the tension adjusted but also the perches are really small and larger birds like grackles are gonna have a really hard time landing on here and getting the food. It's gonna make it much more difficult for them to bounce, for them to put their beak in and lift it up. It just is so awkward. Now, could they still figure this out? Yes, they might be able to still get in. It's not 100% grackle proof, but it'll do a really good job in slowing them down and discouraging them so that they might want to consider going somewhere else to find some food. So it's not 100%, but it will do a pretty good job at discouraging them. And so hopefully with those three adjustments, you'll be able to keep them out of your eliminator. Now, one final thing I do want to mention when you remove the ring, it does discourage the cardinals from visiting. This is called the cardinal ring, and I know a lot of folks have cardinals that love this feeder and they really want to continue to see their cardinals all summer long. And so this is a really tough decision for people because it's like keep the blackbirds out or keep the cardinals coming. It's sort of um, a tough decision for a lot of folks to make. And here is my solution to that. My suggestion would be use your good bird food, your sunflower chips, your no mess blend, put it in your eliminator, make those adjustments so the blackbirds have a hard time and take the ring off. And then in another location, offer a feeder for your cardinals and use safflower, which is a seed that many of the blackbirds really dislike. And so that way you're gonna have somewhere for your cardinals to eat and you're gonna have somewhere for the smaller birds to still enjoy the food that they love all year long. And those are, that's a trick that I use in my yard. I have safflower out year round for my cardinals. They really love it. So do the grosbeaks, beaks, house finches, purple finches, chickadees, and my doves. And so by having a separate spot for those birds to feed and to ha still have a place to come, they're still gonna be attracted to your yard and what you have to offer. So that's really important. Another thing I do wanna mention is that eliminators are not going to keep out your chipmunks. So this is not gonna be a solution to keep Chippy out. Um, you will have to use a baffle to keep Chippy at bay or hang the eliminator in a spot where he can't get it or she can't get it. And the reason for that is um, chipmunks are very, very light. And if you adjusted your feeder to keep out the chipmunks, you would keep out the birds. <laughs> so that's not gonna work for anyone. So great at keeping out red squirrels, great at keeping out Eastern gray, which are the gray and black ones really good job uh, at keeping the blackbirds and discouraging them out of the feeder and starlings as well but unfortunately it's not going to stop chippy so you'll have to make some other adjustments so i hope that helps i hope you enjoy watching the birds come to your eliminator this summer i know i do i love this feeder it's my favorite feeder and a lot of my birds really like it too take care everybody enjoy the summer and all those baby birds that are out and enjoy watching them come to your eliminator bye for now